I am Piyush Thi from Azure Score, working in CloudOps team as an Associate Software Engineer Training DevOps. So today I'll discuss about build packs. So build packs is a latest tool which is just compatible with Docker. In our real life situations, we people face a lot of challenges while we making a project from scratch. For example, when we get a source code from a project, then we have to see what the dependencies are there. Because the DevOps engineer has a work to make the application live into a real time environment, right? So we people see what are the languages and the framework the source code consists. Then we have to see what are the dependencies, right? Then we have to note all these things and write it into a docker file. Now these docker files help us to make a OCI image. Now the big thing is that the build packs make all these things by itself because it just do within two commands and make your application into a OCI image then the OCI image will be able to use. So let's move to the solution part. As we know, the source code is just a code which is the provided by the developer, right? So that source code will be directly converted to the OCI image without any Docker file, right? So the process is happened into the two phases. In detect phase, first, it goes to the source code and see what type of the code is like what type of languages the framework is used in that particular project right then it goes to the build stage so the build stage will do as a runtime environment right where the detect phase detect all the things all the instructions and do execute into the build phase so let's come on the implementation part. So we have the app source, which is the source code that is provided by the developers. And next we have the builder image. So it is basically provided by the buildpacks.io. And these are the components which are used in the builder image. And these buildpack A, B, C, these are the groups which contains the executables and this is the life cycle like what will be the life cycle of the source code like what is the source code will be going to be like update delete the version update and so on there are so many things in the life cycle next these two things will be gone into the platform stage and goes merge right and then this platform will tend to move into the OCI image right so between the platform these two things will be merged and goes into the build and run image right so it is also called as a stack right then after going to the platform stage it will directly go to the OCI image now this OCI image will be treated as a docker image as you people remember in the docker lifecycle right so this will be going to be started as a container and this will set up your whole application into the container stage now let's move forward to like what is the main difference between the docker and buildpacks.io right what the buildpacks.io did right so these are the things which is done in difference between the docker and buildpacks.io right what the buildpacks.io did right so these are the things which is done in buildpack.io but not in docker right so the first thing is the advanced caching so it happens is what when we use docker it is used caching caching means for example we reuse the image right in docker it will goes back to that previous image and took all the caches in it and bring in that particular moment 
right so the advanced catching is improved in build packs so same thing is happened but is in robust field right next we will come on the auto detection so buildpacks.io gives a very big thing because auto detection is not present in docker it is only present in buildpacks.io as we have discussed in the auto detection as we know our source code the languages the frameworks is detectable to the buildpacks.io right so it is happened in buildpacks.io not in docker now it is a multi process like every layer has their own entry point right so that's why it is called as a multi process it is not happens in docker it is happens in buildpacks.io right then the rebasing suppose we have a running container right so we people cannot change the image the base image that we have used in docker but it can be done in buildpacks.io right so this is the difference and next we have the reproducibility like most of the artifacts can be reproduced in buildpacks.io but not in docker right then we have the reusability the same thing happens like in docker we use the image right we use the direct image into our respective work but in buildpacks.io it use the layers into their performance so this is a big change right so these all points are make a very big impact like why we people need to shift docker to buildpacks.io so let's come on the benefits of buildpacks.io so the first benefit is the efficiency the efficiency is improved so much than docker and the second point is the consistency it has a very good consistency while deploying our application and the third point is the portability you can able to use it anywhere in cloud or into any system right and the third thing is the dependency management the dependency management is very good like um, it is not done in docker but it happens in the buildpacks.io so it is the best benefit of it next we have the security like it is very secure because no docker file is here you just build your application within two commands right next we have that developer experience when we people use it our manual uh, you can say that the efforts getting reduced that's why the experience is going to be very good next we have the collaboration it help us like any time we can able to reach out the buildpacks.io right and the collaboration is getting very easy and then next we have the up upgradeability like uh, like we are not able to use any different image at that point while we testing something right now in buildpacks.io we can change the image while our container is running so all these things are the benefits of buildpacks.io and these things are help us a lot to reduce our time efforts and money some of the use cases of buildpacks.io is it is open source so anyone can use it into their respective operating systems second it can be used in the testing environment when we people used docker in our testing environment we have to do manually right so you people can use buildpacks.io for your testing environment third the most important which is the application deployment right if you people use your application right into a production way then you are able to use buildpacks.io very easily we can use it into ci cd the continuous integration continuous deployment so it is basically use the ci cd as a source checking like you just made a direct oci image and push it it to the production right then you people can use it into that way and the last one is version pack it means when you people use buildpacks.io it will convert into various version for example if i built a image and then later on i want to change that particular image 
then buildpack.io manage it into the versions like version 1 version 2 version 3 right you are able to roll back like you want you can go into the back version so this can also help into your production environment buildpacks.io add the values to customer in various ways first integrity so it provides very good integrity to customers and second the innovation so it is a very latest tool it makes a direct impact to the customer like how you use your production environment third your application resource so buildpacks.io gives a very boost to the application de development right your life uh, your development life will be getting very fast as compared to docker software delivery when you people go inside the software development life cycle and you think that your project is going to be very complex and it is very complex to explain to your customer right then buildpacks.io will help to give relief from that right you people can use it and that will lead to be greater impact on your customer buildpacks.io is a task of my experimental saturday and I have worked very first time on this tool and I learned so many things by using this tool. I do hands on on my operating system and this tool really helps me to build the OCI image for my project and I thanks to the Zenstack for providing this type of learning in our experimental Saturdays. Thank you.